welcome it's me Morgan and I feel like I have not been on here in like forever but today I'm gonna give you guys a I guess two month update video of the J Sculpt fitness belt so if you guys have been following me in the past in 2018 I did get my first J Sculpt and I absolutely loved it um, it was the original one where the strap does not detach so fast forward, was it three years later now, 2021, I decided to get a newer version of the j Scope belt and I got the reversible one in the black and white logo print, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to leave the link below for my first video, well my second video, but the first video of me initially getting the reversible one so you guys can watch that so this is basically like a part two i guess you would say okay you guys so in this video i'm going to update you guys on the newer belt the reversible one and i'm also going to show you some things i like to use to incorporate in my um, workout routine and also at the end of the video i'm going to show you a back workout that i like to do and like using some of my favorite machines that i feel like are most beneficial just to get rid of like this back fat area over here because summer is coming and we don't want that so um, at the end of the video I'll have a workout video for you guys as well so let's get started all right and also excuse the noise if you hear any background noise it's outside it's the middle of the day people are everywhere okay so uh, first I'm going to start with talking about this belt right here which is still a little damp um, from yesterday's workout. But this is the one that I have. It's the reversible. So black on one side, reversible logo on the other. And then it comes with the detachable strap. So I absolutely love this one. It is my favorite. I have been using it for the past two months. It is very strong and durable. So I'm going to show you guys how to put it on one more time just in case um you guys didn't watch my previous video but you know, i got these super long braids and i have to make sure i don't snatch my hair up <laughs> so you just put it on um like i said in the previous video when you put it on it is very difficult to get on i'm not gonna lie um it took me a minute to get it on okay so now when I put it on, it just comes on super easily. So the way I like to wear it is I like to take my bra out um, of the sports bra, I mean of the, out of the waist trainer. And I usually will tuck it inside of my pants or shorts, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, and then all you have to do is take this and, oh my hair and wrap it around just like that as tight as you would like it so it looks like this have it on all right there we go so it fits super nice and comfortably and all that which i absolutely love all right so uh, like i said my favorite part about this belt is that this comes off um and you can adjust it to how tight or loose you want it on your body and sometimes i don't feel like working out with this on sometimes i just want to wear this or like if i want to wear this throughout the day if i'm at work or running errands i can just wear this part i don't have to always wear this part um, but when i do cardio i really try to wear this part as well because i just feel like it sucks it in more so like more on cardio leg days I like to wear the whole thing. When I'm doing arms, I kind of just will wear this usually. Um, it really just depends, but this is super durable. Durable, <laughs> And the Velcro is really, really strong on it. All right, so I really, really love wearing this part right here. I love the fact that you can take it off. So if you're out running errands or you're going to work, whatever, and you don't want to wear the whole thing underneath your clothes if you have like a tight outfit on you can always just not wear this part and just wear this to keep you sucked in um but that's what i usually do <laughs> so this right here i love using when i'm doing like cardio or leg days 
Um, sometimes I'll just work out with just this on. I don't have to use this every time, but I love doing it definitely for cardio and for leg day. I just feel like it just helps with my posture and like pushes everything inside. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this back off. So the size that I wear in this fitness belt is a size medium. On the website, they have this easy like measurement generator you can do. You just measure around your waist and I think it asks you a question about your hips. Like are your hips two inches wider or something? I forgot. But I'll link it below so you can see. But my waist when I measure it with a tape measure, I could not think of the name. When I measure it with a tape measure, it weighs 31 inches. I'm actually gonna check again real quick. All right, so I got my tape measure. I'm gonna measure myself. Um, I think when I first got the belt, I was like close to 33 around or 32, something like that. Um, I know I have lost weight. I think I lost like five or six pounds since then. So me just measuring it around it comes to, I'm trying to look in this mirror I have over here too. It comes to 31. So now I'm 31 inches around. Um, I've always been wide around. I have very like wide rib cages. My rib cages are very wide. Because people always think my waist is smaller and it's really not. I promise. <laughs> I just have wide rib cages. So... Yeah, that plays a part into it. But that medium fits really good now. At first, when I put it on, it was so hard to get on. Um, it was a whole struggle, like I said. But after you wear it for a while and you sweat in it and all that, it kind of molds to your body. So even like when it's off, I can see like the curves, which is not that much on me, but <laughs> the curves on my body are kind of molded into the waist trainer. So like, if my, not waist trainer, the fitness belt. So if my friend put on my fitness belt, it would feel weird on her because different, different shaped bodies and it just molds to your own. So yeah, so if you're confused about your size, just go on the website and put your measurement in around your waist and that should be your size. It works for me. Um, and a lot of my friends have been getting the belts as well and it worked for them. So uh, I suggest you do that. Um, also, I wanna show you guys what I've been using with my workouts. So I think I showed you guys in the first video. They have this, let me get closer. They have this right here. Um, it's called Drenched. But um, you put this on wherever your area is that you wanna target. So I just literally put it on my whole stomach and then like my back and my sides. And y'all, it helps you like, you produce way more sweat than usual. So I already sweat a lot, but when I wear that and then I put this on, like the sweat is on 100, 1000, 1 million. It's a lot of sweat. So I love using that. And it has like a tingling sensation to it. Not like burning, but Y'all know how like icy hot is or something like that. It feels like that tingling sensation. Sensation. So it's not burning you. But I will say, please make sure that you only put a little bit on. Do not put a lot on. Because one time I put a whole lot on. And it was too much. It was like the sensation was a lot. So you only need a little bit. I have like a good amount left. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. So, yeah, and it smells, I like the way it smells, it smells good. And it has like really natural ingredients. So I like to put that on before I put my fitness belt on. And then I also been incorporating, incorporating um, these sliders into my routine. These are the J-Sculpt sliders. I love using these, especially like doing abs and uh, like mountain climber, stuff like that. And also, I, this has to be my favorite item. This is my favorite. Um, it's a J-Sculpt resistance band. And this one is a fabric one. 
So I have the fabric one and I have like the latex one. Um, for these gains, y'all, because I'm trying to get those booty gains, you know. Um, I love using this. So I usually will use this when I'm doing squats, um, like lunges, even on the machines. When I do the hip abductor machine, I use this. Yeah, I just love using it. Um, and then I love hers because you can adjust how tight or loose you want it. I had one previously and you couldn't adjust like how tight or loose you want it to be. But this one you can. So I would highly recommend you guys getting this. Um, especially if you're working out at home, this is a good addition to add to your routine. So yes, get this as well. And those are like the three other things I just love to add to my fitness routine along with my fitness belt. So yeah, you guys, so since I've been wearing it, I have lost like five or six pounds and that's actually very good for me because it's hard for me to like lose weight because a lot of my weight is muscle. So even if I try, basically I try not to look at the scale because my weight is different than somebody else's. I'm five foot three and I weigh 160 now. When I first started, I was like 165, 166. So this 160 on me is gonna look different than 160 on somebody else. But I'm just gonna show you guys like what I look like now. So when I'm doing a whole weight loss journey type thing, I like to look at myself in the mirror instead of the scale more so because muscle is more dense and is heavier than fat and I have a lot of it. So me looking at the scale really